Waiting for the guy to get out of my shop. Some people. How's it going, Internet? It's the Wombat. Thank you for joining me again. Today I wanted to talk about what I want to be when I grow up. See, I've often felt like I'm not quite an adult. I feel like a kid playing at being grown up at times. And, and I think a lot of people of my generation feel that way. Whether it's the idea that the, the rites of passage or, or whatever you want to call it for going from a child to an adult or blurred or even gone because we are surrounded by so many things that remind us of our childhood that we kind of stay in, in that perspective or if it's just me I, I don't know when I was young I wanted to be a preacher that didn't fly for very long I wanted to be a fireman I wanted to be an astronaut I wanted to be um, a blacksmith, a helicopter pilot, a engineer, a software engineer, a biomedical engineer, artist, archaeologist, a whole bunch of things. I figure since I'm sitting here staring at the open water with the sunset happening, let's talk about the time I wanted to be an astronaut. See, when I was younger, we had the shuttle program. My father worked for McDonnell Douglas back in the 60s. My, my, my dad, he actually worked on the Mercury program. He was a, an engineering draftsman and helped design the airlock system for the Mercury program, which launched from Cape Canaveral on the other side of the state. So the space program was sort of big in my life. And when I was young, I wanted to be an astronaut. I loved math and I loved science. And then there was a point where I was in gifted math and we got to watch the launch of a space shuttle. It was the, the Challenger and it was 1987. I was living in Illinois at the time. Um, the reason, one of the reasons we got to watch was because my teacher uh, had actually been in the running to be the teacher that went on the Challenger flight. And she knew Krista McCullough. I was in advanced science and math, so part of our reward was we got to watch the, the Challenger launch. Some of you watching may not, may have only seen it on YouTube or hear about it on the news or may not even know what happened. But, uh, Early that morning, the, the Challenger launched from Cape Canaveral and exploded um, after launch. I'm not sure how to explain. I'm not sure how to explain. Are they doing a drum circle, really? What? Are they doing a drum circle? Are they they're playing drums, really? What's that banging sound? The kids are banging on the sign. We were watching on a little TV when. Uh, the, the Challenger just caught fire and turned into a ball of flame. It was the most awe-inspiring thing a 10-year-old me had ever seen in my life. It left me speechless. And any hopes and dreams that I had ever thought of pursuing um, to be an astronaut pretty much died that day. My mother, um, would not even entertain the idea because she was not going to have her son blow up. Mom was a little overreactive like that. But I'm still in absolute awe every time I see a space launch. Dad always wanted to see a shuttle launch and events conspired to where that never happened. Um, you know, my, my dad did a really good job of explaining to me when I was younger what difficulties they experienced when trying to launch spacecraft. Imagine, right? So, if you've ever been swimming, 
right? And, and you go underwater. It's, it's a totally alien, right? You can't survive there without aid. Space is even more hostile than that. Um, and, and the sheer engineering that had to go into getting these guys not only up into space, but back um, is, is mind-boggling, especially with the technology that they have. I am astounded by what science can do and the human mind can do. For the most part, we are, we can be a blundering, idiotic, violent, angry species. But on the other hand, we're intelligent, awe-inspiring, innovative, and daring in so many different ways. And while my dreams of being an astronaut died relatively young, I've never given up that, that childish dream of going to space, of being, of seeing the Earth from outside of the atmosphere. And one day, I, I hope I'll get there. It's not impossible, it's improbable, but. That's really all I got today, Internet. I'm, uh, I'm gonna watch and take some pictures of this pretty sunset that's gonna happen here in a few. So, that's all I got. You're the internet, I'm the wombat. And until we talk again, have a good night. Bye guys.